Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called Wheelie. In a world where vehicles are citizens, one underdog cabbie attempts to become king of the road in his hometown, Gasket City. But Wheelie, as he is known, soon discovers that staying true to oneself is a greater pursuit than personal glory. When threatened by elitist attitudes and mobster trucks, can one unglamorous black and yellow local zero rise to the challenge and become a global hero? This is a 2019 film. It is not rated, technically. It runs an hour and a half, nice short movie. And I had to go online to see who it stars the voice talents of because it has a little sticker on the back here covering the names. So it stars the voice talents of Ogie Banks III, Barbara Goodson, and Chris Jai Alex. That's the main ones. That's our main characters. So this is Wheelie. Well, I want to one more time apologize for my voice. I think I'm getting back to normal here, but I just have to do this review. I watched it last night, and uh, I'm, I'm starting to get my voice back slowly, so I apologize for any misunderstandings here, but um, this really helped me. You know, I've been sick the last couple days, and I watched this last night, and it's pretty funny. You know I mean? Like, you don't have to... Take it seriously whatsoever. I'm doing this review for, you know, informational purposes. If any parents are wondering, you know, if it's appropriate or if you as an adult should waste your time on a kid's movie like this. That's really the only reason why I'm doing this review. So, um, yeah, it was, it, it kind of gave, gave me some energy watching it. And, uh, you know, it's nice and easy to watch and as an adult. And it came up on my list, so I was like, okay, you know, I know, I know what it's going to be. It's going to be a ripoff of Cars, uh, and that Planes movie, if you remember that. And I was talking to somebody last night. It's like there are a million racing movies out there. You know, there's Turbo, there's Herbie, there's, you know, just keep mentioning them. There's so many, you know. And, then you get into the real people movies and they have even more racing movies, you know, the Fast and Furious and Speed Racer and all these other things, you know. So there's tons and tons of movies about being a racer. And so, you know, are you going to watch every single one of them? I think I have, but most people probably won't. And so this is going to really, really fall off the radar. And, um... Especially since it's kind of a copycat movie. Uh, it looks and it feels like Cars. It just does. And that has been such a hit of a franchise that, you know, anything copying it shouldn't be that great, right? So, that was my attitude going in. And uh, my attitude going out is a bit different, but mostly the same, is that... This movie, you know, like, when you sit down and watch something that you know is going to be a little off, uh, you want it to impress you, right? And this movie does impress me. It, uh, you know, as it went along and got through kind of some of the murky details and some weird characters and some kind of questionable lines and dialogue... Um, it does end up being an adventure. It does end up having a moral of the story. It does end up having a romance um, that is defied by society and by, you know, this rich guy, you know, trying to control things with his money and uh, his position. Uh, a lot of truths come out in this. You know, people end up being really truthful and 
that's always a good thing. And it focuses on family and friends and maybe some lesser known characters being really important. Um, other than just tossing them to the side and just having them be, you know, kind of sidekicks. Um, so there's a lot of good stuff in this movie and I don't want it to go unnoticed, you know, because maybe, you know, some other movies have done the same ideas, but for it to have what it has in it and to have the twists and turns and the danger and the excitement and the adventure, uh, it really does, you know, give itself some sustainability and some, um, really just confirms it as a real movie. You know, I mean, nothing ended up happening in this that made me go, wow, this is really stupid. You know, I mean, that's what I kind of was thinking going in, but nothing really happened that way along along the way to make me say during the movie that it was really stupid. So, um, the one questionable thing I will say that was on my mind the whole time was the language of the characters. You know, uh, they would go for a while, like Wheelie, for example. He's probably the main culprit, actually. Is uh, I mean, He'd be talking like Wheelie. You know, he'd be saying how much he wants to win the race. He'd be saying, you know, that he likes, that he loves his mama. And he, you know, wants to, you know, He's doing things for her, and there's some real raw emotion, you know, coming from him. And then all of a sudden, he'll say, well, you're my brother from another mother. And I'll be like, what? Where'd that come from? You know? So that's why I kind of wanted to look up who the voices were, because I feel like the people in this movie doing the voices are black people, and there's nothing wrong with that. But it seems like they have their uh, kind of acceptable character voice. And then at certain points in the movie, they're able to switch to their black people voice or black people lines. And it just feels awkward. It's like Wheelie, it's like he changes voices like four different times, there's four different instances where there's different things said by him that don't seem like it's the same person talking. So that's like the weirdest thing in this movie. And uh, we have our little sidekick and uh, the little scooter, and he's really a good addition to this movie, but his lines are um, that he's less uh, intelligent. And I think that's why kids will uh, draw to him because he's a little bit more simple. You know, he's a simple character, but he tries to take on big challenges. And, you know, like we've seen that before, obviously, with Mater and Cars, you know. But, uh, you know, it, it's a good overall movie. You know, it just has a couple weird things here and there. It has some things we've seen before. It has characters that we've seen before. Um... So I was prepared to give this a pretty good grade because I do suggest it. I do suggest the lessons that are in this movie. I do accept the ending that they have. It's very nice. It's very, you know, uh, maybe unexpected a little bit. So um, the, the one thing I do have to say that's very obvious if you start watching this movie at all and if you watch it for an, an extended period of time, say half an hour... It's obvious that the graphics, the you know characters, the colors, whatever, it's all very off. It's all very cheap. It's all very messed up. It looks like it should be on TV, but I don't even think TV stuff is this bad. So it's very off. It's very noticeable. And uh, I just think it's going to be the one flaw for anybody watching this movie if you care at all. But for kids, you know... They don't care about that kind of stuff. So I think they enjoy it. I really do. I think some adults might get something out of this because it's a little funny. But uh, it doesn't keep the laughter going the whole time. But it does keep the interesting going the whole time. So I generally kind of actually was surprised how much I like this. So I'm going to give Wheelie a B-. minus. 
I think it I think it fits in the B range. So just the just for me as an adult watching a movie, the graphics were so bad. That's where the B minus comes from. So thanks a lot, guys. My name's Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and give some of them a watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Enjoy your movies. Thanks.